Uh, someone wants to know if I make crumbles with this, can I freeze dry them to use in camping food? What a great question. Ah. You want to take that one? Sure. Yeah, you actually don't even have to freeze dry them. We dehydrate them and use them as camping food. And they can be eaten just as a snack, dry, or you can rehydrate them. We we took, um, when we were in the Boundary Waters um, this last fall, we took a, com a combined uh, Ziploc bag of dried, crumbled uh, wheat meat sausage and... Um, uh, potato flakes, dried potato flakes that we reconstituted uh, at the camp, and uh, that was delicious. Did we have anything else in there? Maybe some dried veggies? Mm, yeah, maybe some dried veggies. I can't remember. That makes great camp food, and it's super high protein, which is just excellent. We've also had people take pictures of um, in the Boundary Waters, like on winter camping trips, without going through the trouble of, of dehydrating it or anything, since it's been, you know, when it's cold enough, they just it, it, uh, this works great over a cook stove or over a fire, just to, if you like campfire cooking. Right. Well, folks, um, I want to wish you all good luck in your, in your journeys and your experiments with making wheat meats. I, uh, you know, Gail and I very much appreciate you coming tonight. We just want to thank you again for being here and remind you that a week from tonight, we're going to have a follow up to this class which um, is, uh, you know, uh, basically a deeper dive into some of the ideas that we talked about tonight, where we'll be looking at a couple different ways in which to cook the wheat meats, and also how different adding different ingredients into the process can change the texture of the end product. So check that out if you're free in a week. Gail, thanks, anything everybody. else before, before we yeah, sign off? So I am putting Shane's email address in the chat in case anyone has any more questions. Um, but uh, yeah, hope to see some of you next week. And uh, again, just reach out with any questions. It's been really great to have you here. <laughs> Thank you so much, folks. Yeah, take care. Good luck. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to Shane and Gail. And hopefully we see you all next week. Uh, registration is still open and you can go through the co-op website, uh, Whole Foods Co-op slash classes, or go through Eventbrite. And have a wonderful rest of your evening. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>